Today, I want to talk about something that was submitted by a viewer, a great idea actually. And that is a question, again, I usually get over email and I've never really thought to make a video about. And that is essentially, what do you do if you have a stereo signal chain, a left and a right, let's say coming out of a chorus and a delay, but then you have a mono reverb. Is there any way to get around this conundrum? We're gonna cover that today and I'm gonna give you some workarounds, some ideas to try, and of course, some audio examples, which is my favorite part. Let's get into it. A typical pedal board, let's say in its most basic form, we'll start with a guitar in mono, plugged into maybe a compressor, a couple of gain pedals, maybe a chorus that's stereo, and now the signal has split to a left and a right output of that chorus, left and right into a delay, left and right out of delay, left and right into reverb, out to two amps. You're running a stereo pedal board. But there are pedal companies that make pedals like delays, reverbs, choruses in mono. They cannot handle a stereo signal. In the past, this has come up with customers. I remember specifically one customer with a holy grail which is a reverb and can only be run in mono. They loved the sound of this pedal. They wanted it at the end of their chain, but they also wanted stereo. They wanted to run a left and a right output of their delay, but with only one mono input on that holy grail, what are you supposed to do? Do you have to give up stereo? Do you have to have some sort of special mixer or special cable that allows you to run stereo into that holy grail? To give away the punchline to this, unfortunately there is no easy workaround to getting stereo to maintain its stereo signal into, in this example, the holy grail reverb. You have to come up with a workaround. That stereo signal has to stay separate. It cannot be merged and maintain its full stereo wide sound that we know and love. Today, I'm gonna to give you a few different options of what you can try. Let's talk about it in theory first, and then I'm gonna give you some audio examples. The first thing I suggest to customers that really want stereo, but also wanna run a mono pedal after a stereo pedal, is can we find a stereo equivalent? That is by far the easiest way. So in this case, a holy grail, are you okay with an R1 by Walrus Audio? This is a stereo reverb. It is not gonna sound exactly the same as a Holy Grail, but can we find an equivalent that is a stereo capable pedal that needs to come after that stereo signal chain? If the answer is no, there is nothing out there that sounds just like this pedal. It has this secret fairy dust on it and I can't find an equivalent anywhere else. There's no NOS fairy dust left in the market. So what we do then, we have to come up with the next step in the plan. Can you rearrange your signal chain? Can you put, in this instance, your holy grail in the mono section of your pedal board? Of course, we know that this is a difficult video. We aren't gonna have easy solutions here. So we're gonna say no. The customer cannot move around their signal chain. It doesn't sound the same. They lose the magic of the feel of their tone. So now we have to go on to the next option. Can you run your whole pedal board in mono? Is it more important to have this pedal in mono at the end of your chain and have a full mono pedal board? Or do you need to maintain a stereo signal? Of course, we need to maintain a stereo signal. Option number C, let's say, buy another Holy Grail reverb. You come out of, let's say, a stereo chorus. You come out of the chorus, the left will go to Holy Grail number one, the right will go to Holy Grail number two, and then you dial in those settings accordingly on each Holy Grail reverb. There are obvious impracticalities to this, and it's gonna be more gear, it's gonna be more space, more power taps, but we have done this in the past for customers that absolutely need to have that sound on the left and the right output of their last stereo pedal. So that is also an option. The one we're really going to explore today though is running them in parallel. You can run a stereo pedal 
So a left and a right output in parallel with a mono pedal. I'm gonna show you how to do that today and what it sounds like. First, I'm gonna show you a mono signal chain. So in today's example, it's gonna be a mono chorus into a mono dark world, which is a reverb by Chase Bliss that is only mono capable, can't do stereo. And then we are going to switch up the signal chain so that we can do mono reverb into stereo chorus, left and right out into uh, the sound desk. And then lastly, we are gonna run these in parallel. We are gonna run a mono dark world in parallel with a stereo chorus. So basically we're gonna have a stereo field and the output of that mono reverb is going to split to the left and the right output mixer, which the chorus is also sending to. So the chorus is sending left to the left mixer, the dark world is sending mono to the left mixer. The chorus is sending right to the right mixer. So now we have a stereo field and the same dark world is going to be sending also to that right mixer. So we're gonna have a stereo chorus with a mono reverb. Gonna see what you think. It sounds awesome. I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. These are some of the workarounds you can do if you have a mono pedal that has to be after a stereo one. Let's get into the audio examples and see how they sound. So personally, I really did enjoy running reverb before chorus. I would challenge you guys even in the comments, tell me if you noticed any negative differences running reverb before chorus. I would love to hear your thoughts. But running reverb in parallel with a stereo chorus sounded great. And then listening to that mono reverb and mono chorus, it's like, ah, it just, it's just not the same. It's not as big, it's not as thick and rich. But practically speaking, you're now asking, what is the hardware I actually need to make this happen? You said, you know, really quickly and made it sound so easy. Just split your signal so you have reverb and you have the chorus in parallel. But how do you actually do that? And then how do you mix it down again so that you can maintain that stereo signal on the outputs, but still in parallel? Thank you for asking. There are a whole bunch of different splitters out there. A bunch of companies make buffered splits and same with mixers. There are fewer companies that make stereo mixers. So depending on how you wanna go about this, uh, it might be a little bit more difficult to find a stereo mixer, but uh, we actually just recently made some of this stuff in our custom shop. And so even today we have a four-way split that is on the website. Again, we are not the only company that does this. And we also have a three channel stereo mixer and a separate dry through with a, a mute. So you can actually mute that dry signal on command. And then you have uh, mix knobs here. So even if your pedal doesn't come with kill dry, you can still max out the mix level. So it's 100% wet. And then after the fact, control the level of that effect on this uh, mixer. So I know even for mixers, there is Old Blood Noise makes a great mixer. Uh, Red Panda, I remember having one of those back in Australia. There are a bunch of companies that make mixers. So check them out. Check these out on the site if you're interested. But practically speaking, you can use a splitter to take the signal from your last mono pedal 
and then this splitter would send one output to the input of your reverb, the other output, in this example, to the input of the chorus. The output of the reverb, output of the chorus, goes to your mixer, and the mixer sends out to your amps or to front of house, wherever the destination is from there. So a stereo mixer is really helpful to have in this instance. So basically to recap, you can change your signal chain, put your reverb in this example before your stereo pedal. That way you can maintain a stereo field while still using that mono pedal that you love. After that, you can essentially buy another equivalent pedal and run one on the left, one on the right. After that, you can run them in parallel like we did in today's example. And then lastly, you can run a fully mono pedal board, which would be the simplest way to go about it. Just get rid of stereo, keep it simple, run it in mono, and you're good to go. Is that the boring solution? Maybe. But depending on what you do and where you play, that might be the perfect solution for you. Not everyone is gonna need a splitter and a mixer and extra hardware. I would say if that resonates with you, doing the parallel route, then look into it. But if it doesn't, it's definitely not going to be for everyone. Hopefully that has been helpful today. How to run a mono pedal after a stereo one. You now have four, maybe five-ish solutions or options that you can think about and figure out what is best for you. All the questions are welcome below in the comments. Feel free to email us, reach out, get in touch. Love doing these videos and I'm always up for suggestions for ones that you guys would love to see. Until next time, I hope your pedal board routing is going to be fun this week. I hope you try some new ideas. We'll see you next week for another video on the Goodwood Audio YouTube channel.